What's up? I'm going to be going over what I keep in my pockets and my updated EDC. So let's check it out. The first thing I'm going to go over is my phone. Here's the case because it's what I'm recording the video with. It's the Galaxy Note 8. It's kind of an old phone, but it still works pretty well. It's still really responsive and there's no real lag in the UI or anything. And it'll still probably play any game fine on it. It has a stylus here so you can Take notes with it. It works really well. And it still has a headphone jack, which I really appreciate. The next thing I'm going to go over is this. It's the RG350M. It's a handheld emulator with a full metal body. It plays Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, NES, SNES, Genesis, PS1, and a few more. I have a full review on this and the plastic version on my channel if you want to go check it out. I'll leave a card at the end of this video. Here's some Game Boy Advance emulation of Dragon Ball Advance Adventure. And then here I'm just going to show off some PS1 footage. This is Need for Speed Hot Pursuit. Here are my headphones of choice. They're the Turtle Beach Battle Buds. I've been using these for a while now, and they're definitely a good pair of headphones. They come in this little bag, which is nice for carrying them around in your pocket. They fit in your ear pretty nice with these extended rubber pieces that help them grip into your ear better. And it comes with a few different ones for different sized ears. It has the inline controls, has the volume adjustment, mute and unmute, and then answer and hang up. And then it has this detachable mic for better audio. And then all just fits right back in the bag to go into your pocket. And then here's just the chapstick I use. Just Burt's Bees, just helps moisturize my lips. And here's just a tiny microfiber cloth I carry around to clean off the screens of my devices. Here's a spinner ring that I got. It's actually the Crit Success D20 ring. It's a spinner ring to fidget with, but it also acts as a D20 with similar random odds to a real D20. So it's pretty cool if you just want to use this instead of a die and I think it's got a really nice look to it next up is my watch this is the galaxy watch it's got pretty much everything on it you get all your phone notifications the weather fitness calendars a calculator timer stopwatch and it even has some games on it The only one that I play anymore though is the 2048 game because it's really easy to control from your wrist. Other games are just kind of too much work. You can change the face to pretty much whatever you want. They have so many faces. 
I just found this synthwave one that I've been using, but they also have Zelda, Star Wars, Fallout, and all kinds of other ones. Overall, it's a really good watch. Now I have this 3D printed door opener. I found the file on Thingiverse and decided to print it off. It makes it so that you don't have to touch doors or other things with your hands. I have it attached to my belt loop with this Asuna keychain that I had and this string. You can use it for ATMs or other public computers and it works pretty well. I use this one at work all the time for doors and clocking in. This is just a cool little lanyard to clip to my waist to hold my keys. Got this bronze finish on the metal and a black nylon. It has a quick release clip so that you don't have to unhook it every time and it's pretty convenient. Now since times are kind of strange, I have this reusable cloth mask from Primitive. It has adjustable ear loops and an adjustable metal piece at the nose. It also has an insert inside for a PM 2.5 disposable filter. The wallet I'm using is this minimal Desperian Slim Wallet. It's just a very slim wallet made for cards. It has this little easy access cutout to push up the cards. Not the easiest thing to put them back into, but it's not too bad. I've put up to seven cards in it, and it still had room for more. I'm not exactly sure how many it holds, but it holds a decent amount. It has this money clip on it. It isn't the easiest to use, but it definitely works. It'll hold your money there for sure. It has this carbon fiber finish to it and it has RFID blocking. In my wallet, I have this slim tool. I really mainly use it for a bottle opener, but it has a ton of other things if I need it for anything else. In my back pocket, I keep this brass pin from Eklorn. It's a really nice weighted pin. It has this screw on cap that can be moved to the back to extend the size of it. It writes really smooth. And the weight makes it feel really good to play around with. In my other back pocket is my knife. It's just a little knife from Imtech. It's gold and silver with a 2.75 inch blade. And it has a bottle opener on it. And a little loop to hook something onto it if you want. It's not the sharpest knife in the world, but it'll definitely cut through cardboard and tape really well. And that's pretty much all I need it for. Then the last thing I carry with me is this micro arcade. It's just a tiny little version of Pac-Man that's the size of a credit card. Good for when you're bored but you only have a minute or two to kill. It has a full color display and sound that can be turned on and off. It's definitely not the most accurate version of Pac-Man, but it's still a lot of fun. The D-pad and buttons are very satisfying to click. And it's cool just to have this small of a version of Pac-Man. I 
and it charges with micro USB. As you can see, it's even smaller than the minimal wallet I'm using. That was my updated gamer EDC. Let me know what your favorite thing was. And if you enjoyed the video, give it a like and subscribe for more videos on tech and gaming. Thanks for watching.